Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor and sure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ferdinand Tuaititu is coming out, dropping a bombshell as he claims that the people of Mount Kenya believe that Kalonzo will be their president in 2027. Kalonzo did not abandon Kenyans. He refused to join Ruto's government and he is now respected. He has the torch. Ladies and gentlemen, the way you have listened to Ferdinand Waititu claiming that them in the Mount Kenya they believe that Kalonzo will be their president in 2027. And so because Kalonzo Msoka has not joined William Ruto's government, and he has not abandoned Kenyans, and he has refused to join William Ruto, now Ferdinand Tuaititu is saying that the mountain is respecting Kalonzo Msoka so much, and he has the torch. So the claims that these individuals are bringing on board is because of Raido Dinga's move to support William Ruto's government. So you come on name part. And remember earlier on, regarding the Shagwa said, that when you see the mountain is quiet, you must understand there's something wrong. But if they are making noise, they still believe in you. And so they are giving you a room of change. But if you see they make noise, then they keep quiet suddenly. They are not making any comment. They are quiet. Regarding the Shagwa revealed that they are not going to re-elect someone. On the same note, regarding the Shagwa claim, there is a betrayal in politics. That those they supported and campaigned for them in the mountain has turned against them. And so that is the betrayal that Rigaga Shago is trying to tell us. But the truth of the matter is, if you listen to the language of Rigaga Shago, Ferdinand waited, and several individuals from the mountain, you can clearly understand that they never wanted Rai Ludinga to be the India government. Because they are saying it is them that stole, installed William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. Listen to Rigaga Shago. Bila muhubiru lisema mambo ya siyasa hiko mambo mingi. Wale walisaidiwa, wanasalitu wengine. Bila karabi ya mesema, wale alikuwa meandika kwa CDF, diyo wanamutukana kusema hii mama aende. Wale alitipa mshahara. It is like that. So weo kiwa katika uongozi lazima ukue, ukue na roho kubwa. Sisi tunasikiaka mambo mingi sana. Sisi hiko watu wengi sana tuliobea kura. Tukaombea kura. Tukaenda mara tano, mara sita kuwasaidia. Siku hizi utasikia wana kutukana. You know? Lakini usuri na hii kura inaendaga tumi ya katano. Sindio? Si itakuja? Eh, yeah. si itakuja? Asa wewe, <coughs> wewe tu si ule ya likusaidia. Siku itafika, ukitaji ye, unasikia simu yiko mteja. Eh. Yeah. Is here, Mutungire, Juzia Gesema, oh, where we made a count of Fulani, Umesema Kijana Fulani, Akona Muelekeon and Anatakiwa and Galiwa and Aombewe. Bona Ukija Kwangu, Unanyamasa. Anna Lamega, Mona Mimi, Ukija Kwangu, Unanyamasa. Samina Sema Sasa, and Mimi Nikibi was where we Yamasa. Sasa uke nyamasa ni kipigwa na mimi, si mina nyamasa tu. Si nakuwaka na muna hiyo. So, waja tuwe shimiane. Na we ujue, kama nili kusaidia siku hile, utahitaji nita kusaidia siku hiyo. Na wewe unisaidie, tusaidiane, tuendele, tuendele. So, sisi tutakati tu na tutaendelea kutengeneza urafiki. Na tukiona kazi yako ni mzuri, awezi tuwaibisha kwa raia, tutakuja kukubigia debe. 
If charity can you don't perform. I cannot come here to tell these people to back you up. Nita Ibika. Uwezi kweta kusema mtu wamefanya kasi ya javanya. Inaweza kana? Utapigi wa kerewe. So wale ambaye wanafanya kasi, tutawapigi ya deme. And I want to confirm, huyu charity kathambi, so far ile kazi ya mefanya. Hata asipofanya ikine, nitakuwa hapa kumpigi ya deme. Because I can see. And that is the way it ends. So, tusaidiane, tusaidiane. So, mchugaji usijali mambo ya isi asa. It's part of it. It's part of the political process. Politics of betrayal, politics of conmanship, con co politics of deceit, co politics of backstabbing. It's part of the political process. And it makes our politics interesting every day. But that does not change the nature of politics. So, to that so that is the statement of regard to Shagwa. But again, the politics is going to change one, one and for all. Remember one thing. When you look at the statement of Jimmy Wanjigi the other time, was that the demonstration must be there to ensure that William Ruto is going to dissolve the parliament. By dissolving the parliament, we must have another election before 2027. And to have an election before 2027, it means this man MPs will go. And I think President also will go, if I'm not wrong. We will have general election. Because parliament is everything. If we don't have parliament, then we don't have the government. So we must go to do what? For new election. Are you sure if William Ruto is going to dissolve the parliament? His food soldiers might win again. Literally, no. It's like you're putting William Samaruto into a hot pan, frying himself, which for him he cannot do. Even if the advice will come, William Ruto will not dissolve the parliament. You must watch a watch what demand. I'm telling you, I know William Ruto will not do that. Remember, dissolving the parliament is not like dissolving the, the, dissolving the, the cabinet and withdrawing the finance bill. If, if William Ruto is going to dissolve the, 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 the parliament, that is the end of William Ruto together with his close allies. Few individuals will just be re-elected, but remember, bigger percentage of them will not, will not be elected. Why? Because of some wrangles and issues that has been there. Some individuals are feeling like we elected this person, that person, but he has come out, she has come out to represent the interest of the president not the interest of the people. So literally, if we can go to another election, as we speak even tomorrow, William Ruto will be like someone who has been thrown into a hot pan. And I don't know how William Ruto will fry himself. It will be so dirty, I'm telling you. And that is why, when you look at the noise that is now starting to come from the mountain, that is what William Ruto realized, and he brought Ray Dinga with his team. And his appointment was as per different regions that will re-elect him. Because he has realized the mountain is living. And as the mountain is living, he doesn't have any option. But to do what? To seek help from other regions. And that is why he's trying to make good friendship with Nyanza. He's trying to make good friendship with Western. He's, going, he's trying to make good friendship with Coast. Those four, three regions. And these three regions... He believes that might make him to be re-elected 2027. Because he has realized the mountain is not going to support him fully. Remember we have told 100% votes that William Ruto got. 47% came from the mountain. Imagine William Ruto is going to lose 45% of the votes he got. It means that William Ruto might not reach even 40% or even 30% of the votes. Because right, William Ruto uh, declared with 200,000 votes more than Ray Luding. Ray Luding was having 6.9. William Ruto was having 7.1 million. So the difference was so not so much. So even if we, William Ruto will dissolve the parliament, then we go for another election. William Ruto will be defeated. I'm telling you. Even Ray Dinga will not rescue William Ruto. Take it from me. 
if we are going to have election before 2027, William Ruto might not see the winning. Reason being, things are not good. Things are not good on his side. You know, the man is launching, relaunching, launching, relaunching things left, right, center. Things are even not there. Uh, and I claim he went to bring us billions of money from different countries. So today, he's unable even to pay teachers their money. They are even unable to pay capitation. No drugs in our hostels. Projects are being launched, but no development at all. It is so bad. And that is why I'm telling you the way Waitito has said it. Things are not good. Leave alone even the mountain. Some regions are just keeping quiet. But they are so furious with William Ruto's character as a president. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.